the winner of the Challenger Cup, one of our new young rising stars from Germany, Florian Berger. All the way from Japan, currently leading the World Championship standings, Yoshi Muroya. The winner of qualifying, coming all the way from Canada, in second position, Pete McLeod. And one of the legends of our sport, who first won here in Budapest back in 2004, has done it again in 2017. It is America's Kirby Chambliss. És az amerikai Kirby Chambliss, aki nyert már Budapesten, még hozzá 2004-ben, és most idén újra megcsinálta. Kirby Chambliss! Now before we talk to our champions of the day, please take a look at the screens on the side of this press conference room and take a look at the best of the action from today's Red Bull Air Race World Championship. Egy kis összefoglaló a mai versenyről. Yet another fantastic race in Budapest. I'd like to start with Florian Berger, who represents the Challenger Cup. It is the breeding ground for the masterclass pilots of tomorrow. Florian represents. And one of the most pleasing results for me personally for Mr. Bonham sitting in the commentary box, one of the legends of our sport, who first won here 13 years ago in Budapest, works hard, sticks with the game, is one of the toughest competitors in the history of the Red Bull Air Race, and that Texan grit and spit has been rewarded here today. The winner of round four, ladies and gentlemen, is Kirby Chambliss. Kirby Chambliss, yeah, 2004 után, 13 évvel ezelőtt nyert utoljára, hogy Budapest és megint nyerni tudott a egyik legnagyobb küzdője a sportágonak, és az egyik legendája ennek a sportágonak, és én személy szerint is nagyon örülök annak, hogy nyerni tudott tehát. Körbi Csemlész a 2017-es Budapesti futama. Körbi, fantastic. Let me give some of my colleagues some of the statistics that they need. Today was your ninth win, your 28th podium. Your last win was in London back in 2008. But 2017 is Kirby Chambliss in Hungary. You had to go first in the final four round. After you put down your last run of the day, did you believe that that was enough to bring you yet another magical win? You know, um, as far as the track goes, uh, you know, our tacticians, I think everybody's maybe Pete's had it figured out a little bit early when he ran that 59 and a half. But uh, I think we've all been struggling, you know, just trying to figure out what the line is here. The winds were changing and stuff. So um, my guys were just scratching their heads and we were just trying to figure it out. And um, one thing we did do with Wright was we just kept getting faster and faster, you know, and flying, you know, consistent and clean. I mean, I know that's what brings it to you. So uh, I went out and, uh, you know, they said, uh, the guys were like, just do the same thing you did, you know, when you had the round of eight. And of course, I still ended up pulling a little bit more G. I mean, I wanted it pretty bad. And uh, um, quite frankly, when I came off the track and they gave it a time, you know, I didn't think it would probably stand. And, uh, you know, well, both these guys got pretty close to it. So uh, I really thought Pete would take it out because, uh, you know, like I said, he's got the track record here. But for me personally, I mean, I'm just so excited that, you know, I love Budapest. I've been here so many times. I love racing here. It's amazing, you know, I mean, the, it's just beautiful. Not that we have a lot of time for sightseeing while we're out there, but, uh, you know, you get down here and you're able to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, happy to be here, you know, happy to be back on the, you know, in this first spot. We've, we've had some podiums, but we haven't made it to the first spot. I'm hoping that that, you know, is gonna be really good momentum for us and, you know, just kind of, transition into things we've been uh, moving forward and uh, yeah I mean I'm just excited 
Uh, I love the way the champagne smells. I kind of forget that. So. <laughs> Igen, szóval 2004-ben nyertem itt utoljára, és nekem kellett először repülni a legjobb négyben, mondja Kirby Chavis. Nem igazán gondoltam, nem gondoltam volna, hogy az az idővel, amit repültem, meg fogunk tudni nyerni ezt a versenyt. Már majdnem elfelejtettem, hogy milyen íze van a Pesgőnek, de szerencsére még mindig szeretem a Pesgő ízét, illetve illatát. Imádom Budapestet, és bizony a kollégáinkkal, a taktikussal, az adatelemző mérnökkel vakartuk a fejünket, hogy hogyan lehetne gyorsabban és gyorsabban repülni, hiszen folyamatosan változtak a körülmények, a szél iránya, a szél ereje, de oda mentem, és egyre gyorsabb és gyorsabb tudtam lenni, és nagyon örülök. Budapestet imádom, hogy nyerni tudtam. Kerry, of course, the sport has developed and the sport has changed over the years, and you've adapted your flying style. All of the opinion leaders out in the world of air racing are saying that Kirby Chambliss is flying smoother and cleaner than ever before. Is that down to Paolo Iscold, your tactician, or have you just developed along with the safety, the engines, the propellers, as our sport grows around the world? No, my team, you know, of course, uh, I go back to the good old days and it was more seat of the pants type climb, you know, we didn't have tacticians and it was literally, you would just go, oh, okay, what's the fastest way to get to this gate? This going, you know, straight line and as it turns out, it really isn't, you know, so, uh, um, and, you know, it's changed so much, it's much more technical now. I mean, we're listening to tones and, you know, for a G's and how much G we can pull and back then you just, you know, you know, when Peter kind of came up with the idea, it was like, you know, just go to this gate, to this gate, to this gate, fly as low as you want, pull as many G's as you want, do whatever you want, whoever gets through there the fastest they win. So it's changed a lot and uh, it's much, much more technical. And, you know, you, if you're going to win, you have to adapt. And, and uh, so we're, we're doing that. Um, we've got a good airplane now, you know, like Pete said, you know, you can, if you, if you be the best jockey in the world, and if you're on a slow horse, you just beat the horse more. It doesn't go any faster. So for us, we've been, you know, frustrated with that. And now the airplane's going pretty good and the modifications that we, we made, I think are working and, you know, my flying's better. And so, yeah, here we are. Question a huge jump in the world rankings for you after today's performance. Uh, you kickstarted world rank ninth. You now go fourth. You've won the championship title or the series twice before. Is that one thing that is an advantage for you? The experience, you've been there, you've got more than your fair share of trophies back home in the cabinet. Do you think that could give you the edge over the young guns sitting either side of you? Well, I mean, that's the thing now. Everybody's really good, so they're hard to beat, you know, all these guys, and uh, they, they fly really well. And so the one thing that I know about winning the championships, because I've done it, is that you know, you just have to be consistent. And uh, you don't think about, you know, the championships, especially halfway through the season. People push you into that. But what you try to think is just, you know, consistent. You get on the podium, you know, try to put the number one spot, but definitely get on the podium. And every time you win, they keep giving you more points. I don't know how that works. But anyway, as they do that, you end up, you know, with enough points in order to win the championship. So I think if you really start thinking about all that, that it's a mistake, at least for me. And so I just want to win as many races as I can. And if I win enough of them, then they're going to give it to me. Again, on you, man. He really is the man. And you can see from these interviews how popular Kirby Chambers. Give him a round of applause. This is a sensational result here today. Kirby Chambers! A podcast is a Kirby Chamberlain from the United States of America. Now it's your turn to ask questions. We've still got good time on our satellite feed as this press conference is going all around the world live as we speak. Are there any questions from